I just saw a report on the news that said that in an unusually high number of coronavirus cases in a city in which my family and I used to live, um, they're coming from a neighborhood in which my family and I used to live, like the particular neighborhood. And that made me think of a lot of our neighbors that we knew when we were there. And it made me wonder, you know, if they, if they had been feeling confident going through up until now, if they had been feeling fine, health was good, and they had been socially distancing themselves appropriately and, you know, feeling like everything was going to be okay, I imagine if they saw that same, that same news report, I could imagine them pretty quickly feeling the exact opposite. And it doesn't take much for, for that to happen with our mood and our emotions as we go through all these things. It takes, you know, it's, it's one news story or it's one statistic that we hear or one uh, report from a friend who heard something from a friend who heard something from a friend who heard something from a friend that either indicates that, you know, makes you feel you're going to be okay or makes you feel the exact opposite. And that's not, that's not new to us. It's not new to this coronavirus time. The same thing happened to the Israelites as they were coming out of Egypt on their way to the Promised Land. In, um, in Exodus chapter 14, it says that the Israelites, as they were coming out of Egypt, it says they were marching boldly. You know, it's like, yes, we got this. We, uh, we got this licked. This is really good. Our enemies are behind us, and this is going to turn out really, really well for us. So that was, that was verse 8 of chapter 14. Uh, by verse 10, it says that these same Israelites were absolutely terrified. Their mood had changed entirely. And do you know why their mood had changed entirely? Because they were really trying hard to socially distance themselves from the Egyptians. But it wasn't working. It wasn't working. The Egyptians, they were coming after them and they were right on top of them and so they were terrified. One moment they felt bold and confident but suddenly things changed and they felt terrified just like many of us do. And it says in their terror, they cried out to the Lord and then Moses spoke to them. And do you know where Moses told them to go? Nowhere. He said, stand firm and you will see the deliverance that the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians that you see today, you will never see again. And I'm not telling you that to guarantee that today is the last day that you are going to have to deal with this coronavirus. Although I am certainly encouraging you to do what the Israelites did. They cried out to the Lord. And we cry out to the same Lord who in one day was suddenly able to make that disappear, that problem disappear. The thing that brought so much terror to their hearts, it was suddenly gone. Pray to the Lord. Um, your prayers make a difference. And don't stop praying. God is listening. And I also tell you that to encourage you that one day you will uh, experience the same thing that the Israelites did. That whatever it is that's making you afraid, whether it's the coronavirus or, or anything else in life, that one day it will be as if it never touched you. That's what Jesus guaranteed you on the cross. That's what his empty grave guarantees you of. That's what Easter morning is. It's God's guarantee that whatever's piercing your heart with pain, whatever is filling your mind with worry, one day will be completely gone. It will disappear as if it was never here to begin with. One day, you will see the deliverance that your God can bring. One day. So rest well, my friends. Your deliverance is coming. We'll see you soon.